Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video, as I mentioned on the community, we're going to have a look at MIUI 9.5.6. That is a closed beta. It is not a global beta. So if you want to know how to install it, you just have to flash it from TWRP and then flash midges called DFE. That's a decryption file. So don't do that because the global beta should be coming in a day or two. Anyways, this beta adds a couple of features like different different watch styles on the lock screen and a privacy setting that is there on face unlock and stuff like that. Not many big, big changes, but yes, it is an update nonetheless. So let's quickly have a look at it. And before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright guys, so welcome to another video. As you can see, this is my Xiaomi Pocophone F1, uh, one of my favorite phones till date because yes, it's, it's turning out to be a great phone nonetheless. So if we go to about, you will see over here, we are running MIUI 10 Global Beta 9.5.6 and this is of course based off Android 9 Pie. This is a 6 gigabyte variant. The security patch is the 1st of April. Now that is not what we are here for. This is pretty much a standard build. What we are here for is this closed beta which will translate into a global beta in the next one or two days and might come with all the features that we have right now. So first things first, let's quickly have a look at the launcher first. So if we go to the settings of the launcher, you will notice that they have a 5 by 6 grid now. Earlier it was not there. They have a good 5 by 6 grid, which is really, really nice. Earlier it was just 3 or 4. So that is a very, very neat addition. That is the first thing that they have changed and it makes the whole launcher look much, much better and much, much organized, especially if you have a good icon pack or stuff like that. Now, apart from this, a very very important feature that I like that they have added is if we go to um, say lock screen and then if you go to advanced settings so over here you above lock screen owner info you have an option called lock screen clock format now what this does is it gives you amazing customization because you can have the clock over here you can have it over here and you can have it over here. Now, this is my favorite position because it's like more centered, more uniform, and it looks much, much better. So we'll keep it that way. This is known as vertical, left aligned, and centered. So we'll keep it vertical, that looks classy. Now, apart from this, if we go to lock screen again, you have something that has been added in face unlock. So let me unlock this over here. And if you see, so there's this feature that they added like the iPhone 10 stay on lock screen after unlocking, which is a good thing that they have added it a couple of updates back. But now what they've done is they've gone one step ahead, show notification details after verifying face data. Now that is something really, really nice. So let's lock the phone over here. All right, so to give you an example of this particular feature, right now the phone is locked. And as you can see, it says messaging one new notification. I use my face to unlock it. And then you have the contents available. Right now it says mum smartphone is the message. So basically this is a very, very neat feature because it not only gives you good privacy, but it, it is like, you know, a good, good advanced privacy feature wherein only after looking at you, you will have the contents on the lock screen. So you can have show all notifications activated and you, you know, can be free of the worries that, you know, somebody else will look at your notifications. So that's face unlock privacy. Now, apart from this, if we go to themes, so we have live wallpaper in themes now. So let's click themes and let's go to wallpapers and you have my live wallpapers. So if you download and add any live wallpapers, it would be visible over here. Apart from this, one bad thing that they have done is they have taken away digital well-being. 
So earlier when you used to you know type screen over here you used to get something called a screen time which is Xiaomi's version of digital well-being but right now it has been taken away but more or less these are two or three features which have been added and they look really really nice the battery life has been good Android score was around 285000 and uh, when I tried to do some mods to this particular ROM, it did actually crash a couple of times, so I had to format it. That is the reason I don't have the Antutu scores available. But more or less, uh, in terms of heating, gaming, battery, benchmark, everything is perfectly fine. We still have the usual goodies which are always available in MIUI. I believe digital well-being will be made available again in MIUI 11. That is what Xiaomi might be planning. But from the lock screen that looks like this, to the privacy of the notifications and one last thing that I'd like to share over here is if you go to gallery there you go allow so this is the new feature pinch the screen to switch to month view got it so this is basically how your usual Xiaomi gallery looks but if you pinch like this you will get a monthly view with location and all the other things so that makes your gallery even better that is another good thing to wrap this video up let me quickly tell you guys you have lock screen customization that is lock screen clock customization a 5x6 grid in launcher you have a month view in gallery live wallpaper in theme face unlock privacy that that's at least five different features that they have added and they've removed digital well-being so more or less this is a thumbs up and if it makes it to the global beta it will be really really amazing so let me know in the comment section how did you like this video we have two more videos coming up one is about gcam on a locked bootloader for the poco and one is how to install beta roms how to move from beta to stable or stable to beta for now this is kailash signing off at smartphone tutorials until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye